What's up guys, Baker here. I am in my car again at UCI doing this tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be going over some parametric particles and basically it's going to look like, uh, if you guys seen this edit before, we got some cool uh, spiral, it's called a helix. Um, and we got some cool particles and we're flying with uh, depth of field and stuff. And I'm just going to show you how to create something pretty similar. Now it's not exact, but this is what it got. Check this out. So, uh, you know, we're flying in here, depth of field. Got our helix particles, and it's got parametric particles. So, I think it looks pretty cool. So, uh, what a parametric equation is, is, uh, it defines the x, y, and z space, uh, with a fourth variable, basically. So, don't even worry about that. I'll tell you all the equations and stuff to you. So, we'll make this about a minute long. Alright, so we'll make a new solid. Comp size, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to be using a trap code particular. And you can probably do a trap code form, but uh, particular, this will be a good example. And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new camera. And uh, 35 should be fine. Okay. And also create a new null object that will help us animate the camera a little bit easier. So we'll make the null 3D and then parent the camera to the null like that. Alright. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of rearrange the, uh, the origin kind of thing. So on the null, push P for position, and just set all these to zero. And then for the black solid with the particles on it, we'll go to the emitter and reset the X and Y position also to zero. So everything's right in the middle, and I'll uh, make the equations a little bit easier to use. Okay. So, <coughs> ah, excuse me. So let's go ahead and uh, type our expression, and I'll animate the uh, position. So we want the X and Y direction to be a circle so we'll hold alt and click on the stopwatch and don't worry if you can't read this I'll provide this in the description so just uh, make a little bit of room here Oops. okay so we're gonna define a an extra variable we'll set T equals time and then semicolon next line we want the actual value of X and Y now so we'll type bracket and then we'll do, um, this next part is the x radius. So we'll do about 400. And then we'll do star. And then math dot cosine parentheses t parentheses. So this is case sensitive, so it's going to look exactly like this, okay? And then comma, and then the y is just going to be 400 star math dot sine of t and then bracket. So what that does, it just uh, makes it go in circles. And if we change the uh, velocity down to zero, velocity for motion down to zero, you can kind of see what this is doing. And then, uh, you know, if you change the radius to like this one to 200, you'll get an oval. And that's just basically what we're doing. It's just making the x, y, and z independent of each other. And, uh, so now, if I go to like a, uh, a custom camera, custom view right here, you can see we got the circle, and we want it to be pushed out. So in the Z parameter, hold Alt, and click on the stopwatch, and then we'll just type, uh, let's see, I think it was 50 times time. And that's it. And that will make it go, you know, further back. But, <coughs> it's, uh, it's going away. So what we're going to do is we'll go into the particle settings and the life we want to be extremely long. Let's just do 100 seconds, okay? And then, so that will just, uh, that will make the spiral. And then once you've got a pretty nice lengthy spiral, probably about 30 seconds, go to the particles per second in the emitter settings, hit a stopwatch, move forward a frame, and set it down to zero. So it'll emit particles and then it'll stop. 
then this is when we're going to start animating our camera. Okay. So uh, let's go to emitter type. Let's make it a box, and then so it gets a little bit puffier because the the emitter sizes are 50 each instead of a point, and <coughs> that's not looking too bad. Okay, let's start animating our camera. So, I want this to be uh, slightly rotated, so we can actually just go into the particle settings, go to World Transform, and the Y rotation will just make it 5 degrees. So, slightly rotated. Alright, so no object position keyframe and uh, the first beginning I want to be a little off center so maybe kinda over here and uh, maybe start zoomed out a little bit so which way is zoomed out? This way. So the first keyframe start around there we'll move forward about 15-20 seconds and we, uh, we want to zoom in here a lot a lot, a lot, a lot. Maybe hold shift while you're dragging. There we go. And then maybe just, you know, slide over left or right, depending how you want it. So this is basically just what we're going for right now. Not too bad. And um, we want to get this inner ring now. So what we can do is just duplicate the solid with the uh, particles on it. And if we go to our expression by pushing U, go to the XY, we can just change the 400 to something smaller, like 100. Because remember, that determines the radius. So if we just change those to 100s, get a little tiny one. Now it's a little too, uh, too dense, so we can just change the particles per second. If we click these arrows to go to the snap to the keyframes, change the 100 probably down to like 40. So, yeah. It's looking pretty good. So everything's already born when the camera starts moving. And um, flying through here. Now to get a little bit of depth of field, go to the camera and push AA. Turn depth of field on. What I like to do is change the aperture, just put it up to 100. And then the blur level, that's what I usually uh, mess with. So probably like 200%. And then just change the, uh, the focus distance. So I think I used like 500 last time. So yeah, a real, maybe a little bit higher, 700. So really, you know, focuses on the the foreground and the background. It's really blurred out. I, I like that. It's coming in like that. It's pretty cool. And then you can, of course, you can put 3D text anywhere for like an intro and have it fly by like I did. And uh, that's about it. <coughs> um, if you want, if you're still interested in this, Go ahead and uh, search up parametric equations on Google. There's there's a bunch, but Helix is pretty easy to make. And um, I just thought this was a really cool tutorial. And uh, if you guys learned something, you know, go ahead and like the video. Possibly a favorite would be nice. Um, and and a comment, yeah, that'd be cool. I love comments, you guys. Uh, that those make me happy whenever I go to my inbox and find a comment. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you got any questions at all, please feel free to ask and talk to me on Skype and whatnot. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.